States. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here to welcome Catherine Ortega as our new United States Treasurer. Also with us today are three former treasurers, Bay Buchanan, Francis Neff, and instead we're congratulating someone already on the team for moving up. Catherine Ortega has been a commissioner on the Copyright Royalty Tribunal and a member of our advisory committee on small and minority business ownership. Must be very proud of you today. I certainly am. You prove to all of us that the American dream is alive and well. Catherine is the youngest of nine children and comes from a family whose heritage is the stuff of which novels are made. She comes after a successful career as a certified public accountant, she became the first woman bank president in California. She was born a Republican. That's better than me. I'm only a convert. <laughs> hey. Well, it's interim will oversee a budget of $340 million and supervise over 5,000 employees. I'm Ortega. So let's get on to the main event, and then I understand we'll get a chance to see her put her signature to good use. Mr. Secretary, distinguished guest, the number of messages I have received since my nomination for Treasurer of the United States from people across the country, from all has extended you his hand with a prestigious position as Treasurer of the United States. <laughs> Father, as well as my mother, thank you. Well, as the three uh, former treasurers of the United States who are here uh, will recognize what uh, Catherine Davalos Ortega is doing, is putting specimens of her signature that will later be translated separate notes with a value of about $60 billion. Well, we will 
that I know you have with regard to the deficit. I hope that we're all in agreement that the answer to that is continued reduction of federal spending and not increased taxes. Because I found out that every time you increase the taxes, that seems to increase the spending. And certainly it could head off this recovery that we're having. But I know that uh, you've been supportive on other issues and issues that have to do with the international scene and all. Now I really have a dialogue in my mind, so Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, yeah. We were just going to we had an unusual experience in the meeting with the congressman there in the Roosevelt Center. I got carried away and ended up with a standing ovation from a bipartisan group of congressmen. It never happened. <laughs> I was always going to put over my shoulder to see what are they clapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. Very good. Well, we think we have a good package, some flexibility, and uh, I, as I say, I, and I think that the build-up idea is uh, is reasonable, and, and uh, it certainly has resorted a result of the bipartisan support. Increase in that, and I think, as a matter of fact, that we do have the Congress pretty much now where we've tried to have them or where we want them to be on this. So the debate's over, the time has come to implement. And I know that the detractor may be. These are the 
Soviets from dragging their 